This is Jarek Beckwert for the LSTC working with speech on the computer course. And now the same procedure, concatenating files uh, using Prat rather than um, Audacity. So let's run Prat, open, read from file, select your files, open, select all of them, combine, concatenate, Bob's your uncle. Very, very simple, very, very quick. So let's now do it with a little bit more commentary. Let's select all of these and remove. To start with, this is um, for those of you who haven't seen uh, the Pratt um, user interface. This is uh, Pratt. On the left hand side, we've got the uh, Pratt objects window, and on the right hand side, we've got the Pratt picture window. Uh, the picture window we don't need at the moment. Uh, the object window, objects window is what uh, is where everything happens in Pratt. Well not everything but m many of the important things. Uh, it sort of harks back to older software. Um, these days of course a normal um, standard Windows program will have uh, file open uh, menu for example and you work with files here you you work with objects uh, which reside here in this list and then you do modifications to them which is a little bit different uh, requires some using getting used to uh, but once you get hold of it once you not not hold but once you get the hang of it uh, then it's actually quite powerful and actually helps in automa automating things quite a bit okay so what you do is, of course, you go to open. Not long ago, uh, this uh, menu was called uh, read, which was also quite um, non-standard these days. It's already called open, so that's some progress. Open read from file, and here's the, the same set of files uh, that we saw earlier for Audacity. So let's select all of those small mm, Polish files, mm, audio files, wave, as you can see, open. And as you can see, they're all put here in the objects window. And you can select uh, each one, one by one. You can, for example, play them back and so on and so on. You can view and edit, uh, as, as we're going to see in later videos. Uh, but what, we, what we're going to do here is we're going to select all of them, just like you do in uh, Windows Explorer or any other um, uh, dialog of this kind. Uh, press Shift, click, all of them become selected and now under combine on the right hand side here you've got a number of uh, buttons well actually only those that are mm, that can be used with the uh, current selection are um, active at the very bottom we've got combine let's press combine and see that you've got a number of options here uh, and we're interested in two of them concatenate can concatenate recoverably well concatenate with overlap if you've got uh, reason to do this uh, you can do that as well but here um, we're mainly interested in these two um, we did concatenate earlier so let's press again and what you get is a new object here on the left hand side called sound chain and if you uh, press view and edit you're going to see that this is exactly your uh, this is what you want you, you, your your uh, small files combined into one larger longer audio object um, and of course if you go to save you can save it as wave uh, and a number of other formats of course normally you want to save it as wave and that'll save a larger wave file for you okay so let's save that for the time being Ah, let's preserve this name chain doesn't matter what you call it of course in a um, in a working environment you would like to call it something um, but now note we can remove the object while the file rem uh, the file uh, remains there on on disk and now I'm going to try the second procedure select all of these combine uh, concatenate recoverably and as you can see what we get is a sound um, chain and a text grid chain. Chain meaning all the small bits connected together concatenated. If you press view and edit you'll notice that what happens is in addition to the uh, let's zoom into one of those um, original small files um, what happens is you've got the uh, display at the top the waveform and the spectrogram at the bottom you've got a um, let's say annotation the plat term is 
text grid with uh, the names of the files used in this annotation which helps tremendously if you want to um, navigate around the file the larger file in Platt because it's Platt specific okay so let's close this viewer window and you can save we saved the, s the, the sound object the large sound object earlier and this is the same object here so now we, we're just going to save the um, text grid and that is saved to either of these four options it doesn't matter uh, normally you save as the first one as text file it matters uh, when you want to um, uh, do things with the annotation with a text grid but normally if you want to just use it alongside a, uh, an audio file it doesn't matter what the format is uh, you press save and that's it now let's remove select all of these and remove uh, the um, objects we can now go back to the uh, by going to open and read file go back to the um, folder on your disk select both of these that's what we created earlier open they get put here in the objects window if you select both of the this time I selected by dragging if you noticed so you can also select by dragging like in Windows Explorer and if I press view and edit you're back uh, to your uh, sound editor window with the text grid with the annotation at the bottom so there it's all um, repeatable uh, another probably simpler uh, way of doing it is uh, of concatenating files together um, is to uh, read uh, all the small files in then select them and now if you press save you can save them all together without doing any any further steps uh, to a single wave file so that's also now this time it's called plat again you can give it a more descriptive name save and that's it but of course uh, the recommended procedure here for linguistic research is doing it with the annotation because then that allows you uh, that makes the file uh, the sound object search searchable uh, within plat which is um, very very useful in many situations so thank you very much this was concatenating uh, small audio files into larger files in Pratt.